You know, I never thought that I would see the day where I would be back playing this game. But eight months of continuous non-stop harassment from all of y'all has finally broken me. It has finally taken me to the point where I am back here again on Around the Clock at Bikini Bottom. Now, I'm not going to lie. I underestimated y'all. I did not think that y'all, after eight months, would still be so committed that after eight months, y'all would still be messaging me every single day day telling me to play this game responding to every single tweet i post telling me to play this game y'all's dedication to this shit is unmatched and it's mildly disturbing so i just want y'all to know that i see you that i see your appreciation for the game of Around the Clock at Bikini Bottom. And I just want y'all to know that while we're talking about things that we appreciate, I wanna talk about something I appreciate because I just feel like there's no better place for me to tell you about my favorite mobile game. Yeah, you guessed it. Raid Shadow Legends. That's right, you heard that correctly. This video is being sponsored by my friends over at Raid Shadow Legends, and I know that y'all have heard me give the spiel about Raid before. So if y'all just wanna jump right down to the description and download this mobile game, the best one ever made, by the way, you can go right down to the description. I got a ton of links down there where you can find it on your chosen platform. Now, I know I said that it was a mobile game, but it is also available on PC in case that's your platform of choice. Now, on the off chance that you haven't heard me talk about Raid before, let me just give you a little backstory. Raid is an incredible mobile RPG with tons of bosses and creatures to battle. My personal favorite boss is Sir Galaroth, the guardian of the Arcane Keep. Unlike most of the Potion Keep bosses, this dude is actually pretty dope. Sort of like a paladin tasked with protecting arcane knowledge, so only the worthy can use it. For real though, he's guarding the arcane potions and he has to make sure that you're worthy enough to get your hands on them. How do you determine if you're worthy? You gotta beat him up! Now thankfully he's not that tricky, as most of his damage is dealt by his basic attack. However, he deals extra damage to any champions without buffs. So the main goal and the way to beat him is to keep your team stacked with buffs, but you gotta watch out because he's got a minion that will strip your buffs. So you kill that little sucker and then you keep the buffs on your team, GG to the big king. Now, in addition to the boss battles, you can also clear tons and tons of dungeons. And that's honestly what I do most of the time when I'm playing Raid, is I just go through and I clear every single stage in all the different dungeons that I have unlocked and just slay all of the monsters and ghouls and other things that you find down in the deep, dark caverns. Now, if you've played Raid in the past, but maybe haven't been on recently, let me tell you what's new. This month, Raid is running a ton of special events every single day with a bunch of awesome new champions. The big update that's coming this month is called Guardian Raid. It's this huge feature that gives you a load of new ways to use your champions, including a whole faction guardian system, a new way to get legendary champions you missed out on, and an entirely new way to upgrade your favorite champions. It's a huge deal and something myself and the Raid community are super excited for. So make sure that if you have not already, you go down in the description, you click my link, and you check it out. Now, when you hit that link in the description or you scan the QR code that's located right here, new players are going to get an epic hero who's amazing in Doom Tower, 200k silver, 1 XP boost, 1 energy refill, and 1 ancient shard so you can summon an awesome champion as soon as you get into the game. I mean, just look at this champion you're gonna get for free. You will find the rewards here in your inbox for the next 30 days only, so make sure to claim them. Now that that's all out of the way, thank you again so much to my friends over at Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. <sighs> Let's jump in to some around the clock at Bikini Bottom. Wow, I haven't missed this! Let's motherfucking... 
hell was that? Yeah! You're not getting a woo today. Okay, no hand rub, no Birdman hands and a woo today. Wrong! This tilts me so much having flashbacks to the last time I played this game. My God, I'm still not ready. Oh, no. Sandy's Tree Dome. The difficulty for this level is intense. And I got a hiccup in the middle of my dramatic word, get fucked. Here we go. If I recall correctly, the main mechanic of this game is don't sprint. Now, a bunch of y'all have been telling me recently that apparently there's only two levels left on this bitch, okay? There's this one, Sandy's Tree Dome, and then one other motherfucker after it, which I can only imagine is some unadulterated bullshit. So, no! Fuck! These hiccups! Are you done? Are you done? Are you done? Are you fuck? I got another one. I got another one. Is this a fucking joke? Is this a fucking okay. joke? Not only do I have to come out here and play this fucking game, but I also have to have hiccups while I'm doing it. If y'all notice, I don't actually know if y'all can tell when I have my hiccup shits. Okay, but every time I cut off in the middle of a word, it was a goddamn hiccup. Like right fucking there, bitch. Like right fucking there, bitch. That was another hiccup. So, so mother nature, y'all motherfuckers, and Satan. All it fuck off! I can't even say fuck off without my hiccup fucking me! Oh, this shit gonna tilt me. This shit gonna tilt me good. There was another one. Wow. Now, see, unlike some people, I don't do that like. <laughs> wow. This is painful. This is brutal. I don't do that motherfucking, like, standard ass hiccup noise, okay? I don't do that. <laughs> or whatever the fuck. Okay, I just can't talk. And it cuts off my sentences, and it makes me look like a fucking the Jenny. <gasps> okay, there was a real one. Okay, you see that? That motherfucker had a little noise on it, in case y'all thought I was slipping. Now, that sign says, don't run. <gasps> oh, there was a real one again. Wow, what the fuck? Okay, so I was just out here shit-talking people who make noise when they hiccup, and here I am making noise when I hiccup. <gasps> Actually get bamboozled. Oh, my God, bitch, again. Oh, this shit's so fucking... Oh! <gasps> oh, another one. This shit's so fucking annoying. Holy wow, I'm tilted already. Let me just let me just sprint really quickly. Because um I I just want to hear the noise that Sandy makes. When she hears you running. Okay, so it is incredibly obvious. Okay, which is good. That's good to remember. This this shit's gonna be easy, except the hiccups. The hiccups are so fucking annoying! Oh, I got through that one that time. I definitely thought I was gonna get bamboozled by the hiccup gods for talking shit. I didn't, but it wasn't impossible. Now, here's what I want to do. I remember that the last time I played this game, that after you go into the goddamn tree dome shit, that you have to come back out here and like find some parts. So I kind of want to just get a lay of the land really quickly before I go into the tree dome so that I can kind of figure out where the fuck everything is so that when I'm actually in danger, which I don't think I am right now, I know the general layout. <gasps> now, fuck off! Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Name something more annoying than fucking hiccups when you're trying to accord around the clock. Oh, this is where she fucking murdered. This is where she fucking murdered us. I can't think of anything worse than hiccups while recording around the clock. I really can't. Okay, okay, okay. Except maybe having to play around the clock. Part 13 or whatever the fuck episode this is. Okay. Hand off the shift button. Here we go. Hiccuping still. Where the fuck is my water at? Stay hydrated, motherfuckers. Really? <laughs> I want y'all to know how close I am to stopping this recording right now. Oh, stop! <sighs> okay. Maybe I need to hold my breath. Maybe. Uh, uh. Maybe I need to hold my breath. <gasps> All right, 
I still had a hiccup after I stopped holding my breath, but before I screamed, big bitch. So those motherfuckers still here get bamboozled. What is this? Can I take that? Oh, you can't. Can't take that. Am I not looking for, like, a, uh, oh, there it is. A contraption list. Yeah, here it is. Oh, my God, bitch. Right. Okay. So I'm supposed to be building some kind of Hedo Ray thing in order to melt the lock on Sandy's tree dome. Say, Patrick, look. Sandy was building a flamethrower. Oh, yeah. You reckon we could just build it, SpongeBob? Right. Sure. Let's start with the hair dryer. She's got to have one around here somewhere. Okay. Zero out of eight parts. Yeah. <gasps> Fuck! Okay. So here's the first component, the damn hair dryer. Let me grab that bitch. And then let me come over here and put it on the table so that I can start constructing this motherfucker. Okay, here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Don't you need to melt it first, SpongeBob? What? Oh, oh, the fucking hair dryer is frozen. Oh, I didn't even understand what the fuck was happening. Oh, there go that bitch there. Remember, this is the motherfucker that'll chase you once you get outside and like sets off an alarm so that Sandy comes to kill you. Yeah, yeah, this game's some bullshit. Plus the hiccups, get triple fucked. Okay, right. So they really do make you do all kinds of shit to be able to add this shit onto the component table. Now look, that bitch about to come back to life and he about to be mad as fuck, and then he gonna kill me and I'm gonna lose my shit. You love to see it. Mm. And there, oh, one yeah. piece down, only yep. seven more to go, right? Barnacles, that's right. I didn't see any other pieces in here, so they must be outside. <gasps> there goes that bitch, there goes my hiccup. Get fucked! Okay, here we go. So now we gotta go outside, where this bitch is gonna try and kill us. And you also can't sprint. You'd love to see it. Okay, here we go. Let's get the fuck out. Now watch the fuck out. Where's Robo McGee? Because he don't fuck with me. Let's, let's see. Where's that motherfucker at, yo? Where's that motherfucker at, yo? I can't sprint out here either, I don't think. <laughs> As I say that, I started sprinting. Y'all know I'm a monkey for that. But I did it anyway, and it seemed to have worked. So GG, pop off dummy. What is that? Clearly a component for this shit. Let me take, let me take it, let me get inside. Fuck off, hic- ah! Bro, the second you say fuck off hiccups, the hiccups come for you. Three times as hard, bro. Shit's cold-blooded. Now you could sprint outside, but sprinting inside is an absolute no-no. So don't get caught slipping, dummy. Here we go. Cause you gotta come up. Of course you can't see fucking anything. You gotta come in here. You gotta roast this bitch there. Just like that. This bitch done put a golden spatula over the next to Sandy so that she can get pissed off. Now here's what I'm wondering. As, lo as long as you don't sprint, it doesn't matter how close you get to it, right? I guess we're about to find out, y'all. Okay, this is the time to find out though, for show. Oh, that bitch didn't hear that achievement music? Oh, okay, but she can hear me sprinting from a trillion miles away. Shit makes sense. Not nice fucking game, bro. Nice fucking game, bro. Nice fucking hit. I'm done talking about it. I'm done talking about it. I just need to not talk. And then my hiccups will eventually cure themselves. That's the running theory anyway. This shit tilting me big time, yo. This shit tilting me big time. Listen to that music. Where's Robo bitch at? This motherfucker gonna catch me coming out of here one time, I bet. <gasps> that is so something this game would do. God, these hiccups are fucking annoying. Bro. There he is. Okay, you see, he's right on my ass. And if he gets too close to you, he goes, alert, alert. Kill du dummy's dumb ass. Also, there was some kind of lump. See, look, I'm dead. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. Look how close you gotta be. Not very. <laughs> Answer, not very. Okay, now watch the, the, uh, the explicitly bullshit part. Where... Yeah, you guessed it. There's no fucking checkpoints. Oh, we'd love to see it. Oh my god, dude. These fucking hiccups are gonna make me lose my goddamn mind, y'all. These hiccups are gonna make me lose my goddamn mind. Okay, here we go. Now watch out for Nut Blaster 9000, whatever the fuck this motherfucker's name, name is, because that bitch cold-blooded. Now again, there are like almost little booby traps or something. Laid out on the ground, and I kind of want to step on one right now before I'm too far into the game. Just to see if I actually have to be watching out for those, or if they're <laughs> nothing to be worried about. Where the fuck did I just see one of those at? Oh, right here, look. 
Boo, okay, what the fuck is this? Oh, it's just a fucking rock? Does it move? Does it move? It doesn't. Also, I don't think Nut Blasto McGee makes any noise, so you have to actually know where he is. Otherwise, you can get fucked. Just for no reason, basically. <laughs> yeah, balance gameplay. Y'all know what it is. I'm not sure where that bitch is at, but I don't think he comes inside, so let me make this shit quick. Don't sprint. Oh, oh yeah, they think I'm gonna go get that spatula every time? Get fucked. Hell, no, I ain't doing that. Now, I'm pretty sure that you can run on this side of the yellow line. I'm pretty sure that's what the yellow line is for. But I'm not gonna risk it. Okay, just uh, just as a general rule of thumb, whenever I'm in this fucking house, the shift key key is not to be pressed, bitch. Can I watch out? Cause that bitch right here waiting for me, probably. Pretty sure I just heard him. Watch me come up over this fucking hill and see that bitch. There he is. It's also kind of jank that like some of these hills you could run over, and some and some of them you can't. So it's like it's not it's not obvious. Necessarily where you can go and where you can't before you hit a fucking dead end Now I see a component right there. What the fuck is okay, Are you serious? You Are you serious? That motherfucker burrowing like a mold Why 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 is that a mechanic that makes no fucking sense? Maybe that's what those little fucking rock things are for. And those are the spots where that bitch can pop up and kill you. Nice fucking game, bro. Nice fucking game, Bo. The more determined Nut Alarm 9000 will become. Right. Okay. That bitch already seems pretty determined after one shit, so I'm in for a fucking treat. Oh, shit! Okay, I, I can't. I cannot do this with the hiccups. I'm, wait, I'll be back. Fuck off. For fuck's sake, the first time I've had hiccups in six months! And it's playing this fucking game, dude. That's such a me thing to happen. Get fucked! Okay, listen. I got up, I walked around, I was pissed the whole time. So I'm back, and I'm just not gonna talk until, until the hiccups are gone, or I've beaten this level. Whichever comes first, okay? So y'all could just assume that between now and the next time you see me, I probably got railed by Nut Alarm 9,000 times, but I didn't even yell because I was too mad, okay? Fuck off, hiccup, shit! Oh, this shit is so fucking annoying, dude. This shit is so fucking annoying. Okay, Dom, just stop talking and let them pass. Let them pass. Okay. Oh, I see. There's little fucking things on the ground all over the place. That this bitch can use to hear you. Oh, of course there fucking is, dude. I bet he gonna burrow to that fucking shit right there. Watch the fuck out this little bitch a mole and shit. Okay, I need to see if this bitch comes in the house. I don't think he does, but there's only one way to find out. That's to go into the house and see if he chased me in it. There's nowhere to hide in here, so if that bitch comes in here and you can't sprint- And you can't sprint? Yeah, get fucked. Remember what I wasn't supposed to talk- Dude, he's in here. This is fucking real. Oh fucking wow, dude. How do you even get in here? So you can sprint on the other side of the line. Okay, but now I've got this fucking piece of shit. But I can't get back in the house. Oh, that bitch does come out of the house. Oh, this game is fucking something else, dude. Burrow over here. Burrow over here. How come he's not burrowing now? This bitch got a mean selective burrow game. Oh my god, dude. I'm gonna turn around, he's gonna be right there. Listen to the music. He closed the door, dude. He co he comes inside. What are you supposed to do here? Oh, this game is fucking busted, bro. Oh, this game is fucking busted, bro. Is he gonna cut me off? I think he is, actually. I think he is! I gotta get the fuck out of here! I gotta get the fuck out of here! What the fuck is happening? That bitch probably already out here. Fucking he in front of me and shit. Who who needs robot butler bitch ass? Permanently sprinting. Permanently sprinting. Oh, okay, so you gotta do some actual fucking... What is that? That's nothing. This is nothing. Okay, GG. GG. You gotta do some actual David Blaine type shit to stay in front of this motherfucker. This game is something else. I don't really know why they have the sticks and shit on the ground. Like, this bitch doesn't already know where you are 100% of the time. Because he fucking does. And one thing I'm not remembering about Around the Clock is whether or not items spawn... Like, later on. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't think that as I'm sitting out here running around, 
that all of the remaining five shits that I need are already spawned. I don't think they're already spawned. I think that they, like, spawn progressively as you discover the ones before. And, oh, that bitch is burrowing. I see him. That bitch got a mean tunnel game. Look at that little motherfucker. Because look at Patrick. Patrick like, oh my god, what the hell? Who did his crusty ass cousin out here? You right, Patty? You right? Shit's whack as fuck. Bro, where the fuck are these shits at? Oh my god, this game is so fucking bomb, dude. <laughs> oh, and so are the hiccups. Uh-oh, but he's, but he's kind of close. Look! Fucking bricks? What is that? Oh, this game is so whack, dude. This game is so fucking whack. Oh, I was gonna say that bitch must be close. Cause I hear the, I hear the music getting kind of, kind of loud comparatively. And that bitch tried to cut me off. This motherfucker. Okay, now watch out, cause there's no way. <gasps> oh, god damn it! I gotta de defrost this bitch first. Look at this motherfucker actually cutting you off, dude. This guy actually cuts you off and shit. That's okay, because I can sprint on this side. He just walks through the table. Nice fucking mechanic, bro. Nice fucking mechanic, bro. Just walk through the fucking table. It ain't no big thing. Thaw this bitch. Sprint to the far side. Walk. Go wide. Sandy's crusty-ass butler Houdini over here about to kill my ass. Uh-oh, I might be dead here. Uh oh, I might be dead here. If that bitch faster than me, I'm actually dead. If that bitch faster than me, I'm actually dead. I'm not even gonna look back. There's no reason to look back. If I look back, I'm just gonna die. There's no reason to see your fate coming, bitch. Just take, just take it on the head. Just like my goddamn hiccups. Just like my goddamn hiccups and shit. Uh oh. Look at this dude. This game is fucking scuffed. And you can't even see where the, where the fuck the door is or anything. Oh, this game's horrible. This game is horrible. Horrible. Why did I ever start playing this game, dude? Why did I ever start playing this game? Holy shit, I found an item right away. What the fuck? Okay, time for my luck to go fucking south, bitch. Time for my luck to go fucking south, bitch. You know, old Uncle Dommy don't get lucky ever. Old Uncle Dommy don't get lucky ever, bro. Never. Never. Look, you can't even see, dude. Uh-oh. You literally can't fucking see. It's so dark in this fucking house. This shit's a goddamn nightmare, and there's, and there's bitch, bitch, and there's fucking bitch, bitch, dude. Look at the look. Like who? He hit a crack pipe when he made this game, dude. Dave and Padre actually hit a crack pipe when they said, "Let's make this level so dark, you can't even see the fucking." Oh, it's blocked. Oh, it's blocked. Are you fucking serious, dude? They blocked the door. You, I couldn't even tell that it was blocked at first because it's so fucking dark. It just looked like the actual game. Okay, so what, what's, what's gonna happen here, bro? Oh my god, I definitely sprinted. I definitely sprinted where you weren't supposed to sprint. But I guess the gods love me today. Oh my god, this game is so fucking trash, dude. Oh, okay, so they blocked that door, which means I can only imagine that when I come back in here later, they're gonna have blocked something else, okay? Like, we're just gonna be progressively blocking more and more shit. I am not going for the door right now. Okay, I had to make sure I knew where Big Homie was before uh, I got bodied. Okay, let me get the fuck out of here. Dude, if shit doesn't start spawning right here, I'm gonna quit. I'm actually gonna quit. This game is fucking outrageous. This game is fucking outrageous. My hiccups do seem to have passed. Okay, so that's the only positive that has occurred so far. Okay, now the music's getting kind of intense. So keep your eyes open, y'all. Oh, that crusty motherfucker got a mean cutoff game. Look at that bitch, though. Is this an item I need? Oh, it is. That looked the exact same as the last motherfucker. Dude, it's literally... Like, the items are, 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 are literally, like, the same shit every time. Like, this is, like, bent pipe. Or, sorry, this is, like, straight pipe, and the last thing I got was bent pipe? Like, are you serious? Are you fucking serious? What are these items, bro? What are these items, bro? It seems like as long as you never get caught with him either in front of you or in a corner somewhere. Um, oh, shit, 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 shit. This is where I died the first time, Patrick. I'm dead. I'm dead. I don't know where this bitch is at, but I need to get inside. Oh, God. Okay. See, look, that shit's blocked, bro. But I think he comes in on that side. 
Unless he has moved his moved his route. Okay, let me get in here and wait. Watch this bitch spawn fucking behind me, dude. Like, that wouldn't be something they do in this game. I know y'all like, like, oh my god, Dom, that's not something they would do. That's absolutely something they would do in this crusty-ass motherfucking game, dude. Spawn that bitch behind you and insta-kill you. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm kind of pushing it here. Kind of pushing it here. A whole mother of God. Holy mother of God. This game is so fucking whack, dude. This game is so fucking whack. Okay, so let me melt that motherfucker. And it's like, I'm not actually certain what his hitbox is. Like, at what range he has to be from you before the alarm goes off. Uh-oh. Like, that's also another thing, because it's not like it's not like a contact thing, you know? It's not like he touches you and then it goes off. It's like, he's within two meters and 13 centimeters of you. Time to get fucking railed, bitch. That's literally the mechanic. I just, okay, I just heard that, which means I'm assuming he just blocked that door. I'm assuming he just blocked that door. And that's important to know, because if I didn't know that, I would have gone for that door, it wouldn't have opened, and I would have got fucking toused. I bet that door is blocked. I bet that door is blocked. If I wouldn't have heard that, I would have fucking lost my shit, dude. If I wouldn't have heard that, I would have lost my shit, dude. I bet that's blocked now. I can't actually see because it's fucking... Yeah, it is. He blocked it with a fucking bookshelf. He really blocked it with a fucking bookshelf. This game is horrible. This game is horrible. Oh, y'all are fucked up now. My goddamn hiccups have passed, and I'm going to light you motherfuckers up like a Christmas tree for making me play this game. You crusty-ass motherfuckers. I hate all of you. Okay, I don't really know if I've made that clear because my hiccups were um, disabling me from talking shit. But I want y'all to know that now that the hiccups have passed, okay, I'm going to light y'all up like the 4th of July. You motherfuckers going to look like a burnt up firecracker toaster piece by the time I'm done with you. And no, I don't know what a toaster piece is. Fuck off. Okay, let me not start talking shit until I beat the game. Uh-oh. Get the fuck out of the way, Patrick, you big fuck. Uh-oh, wait a minute. He's burrowing? I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm fucking dead, Bo. Is that- does he burrow faster than you? I'm not certain, but I- I- I wanted to go the other way. But I wasn't certain that there was actually an exit on that side. So I couldn't risk it. I absolutely could not risk it. Okay, so here's the tree dome. Big Buddy's behind me. I feel like one of these might be too tall. It wasn't, thank God. Okay, so y'all already know how this shit goes. I gotta get in here, I gotta get all the way down to that end area. And I gotta do it before he comes out of the door on the left. He just moved something else, dude. He just moved- I literally heard him move something. Where did he- where- What the fuck? He came out of the bathroom?! What the fuck's he doing in the bathroom?! Oh, that little motherfucker working his willy and shit, bro. That little motherfucker working his willy and shit, he like, Oh my god, dummy! <laughs> Check out this bathroom! No, fuck you, idiot. Get the fuck away from me. Get the fuck away from me. Get the fuck away from me! So is 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 the main door that I've been going through blocked now too? I think it might be, because he didn't come out of here and he should have. Oh no, it's not. But it might be about to be question mark. I think that maybe the the next move he's gonna do is he's gonna block that fucking door right there. Which has me class 13 bamboozled. Or maybe, he, really, what if he was fucking smart, he would move that couch so that I couldn't fucking loop him right there. But then the game would literally be impossible. Oh, wait! Wait! All of Dave and Padre's games are literally almost impossible, so that really wouldn't bamboozle me at all, okay? Well, I mean, it probably would, but I would be like, oh, yeah, this is par for the course. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is par for the course. Can I listen? Because something else is going to move. Come here, you motherfucker. Come wide, come wide. Good, good, good. You have to come wide. Now, I didn't actually hear him move anything that time. He might be faster now, though? I'm not sure. Unless he blocked the fucking entrance, Bo. No way he blocks the entrance to the tree dome, dude. There's only one entrance for me. That motherfucker coming through like pipes and shit like a snake. But that... Not me. Not me, my big ass. Can't be slithering through itty bitty little cracks and shit and shit. Now, I've only need one, I only need one more motherfucking piece. Which means, I'm almost certainly going to get fucking bodied. Because this is only my first attempt, and you never win on the first attempt, y'all. Especially not on a game like Around the Clock, okay? 
So let's a couple of these items just Houdini themselves about in some new bullshit location with no exit and a little fuckboy right behind me and shit. Y'all know how this game's gonna end, okay? Y'all know how this game's gonna end. I'm gonna be screaming for my fucking life. Uh oh. Really? Really? What the fuck is the goddamn range on that shit? What is the range on that? That motherfucker was 37 meters and 17 centimeters away from me, but it doesn't fucking matter. Wait. Did I step on some shit? I've definitely stepped on shit before, but it never woke her up. So why the fuck did it wake her up that time? That or little bitch bitch McGee done caught me from a hundred miles away. Oh, this game is so fucking horrible, dude. Dude, dude, dude. Who actually thought, oh, four out of eight. That's way nicer to me than I thought it was gonna be. Wait a second. I definitely thought I was at zero out of eight or one out of eight. This is actually considerably more reasonable than I would have thought. Where the fuck is he? Where the fuck is he? Where the fuck is he? But where the fuck is he? Probably waiting for me downstairs. Bye, y'all. Goodbye, y'all. Goodbye, y'all. I'm fucking... I need to sprint out here because I feel like he's here waiting for me. There he is. Oh, so maybe he, maybe since I got a checkpoint, he didn't spawn yet or something? I have no idea. Okay, so here go the hook -a bob bullshit that I got before. Now let me actually step on some twigs and, well, is there any reason to test it? Do I fucking care? I can just not step on them. I was gonna say, let me step on that shit to test it, but it's also like, what good does that do me? Like, there's no reason that I need to be stepping on them. So maybe I just don't step on them, like a stupid fucking asshole. <laughs> okay, that's probably a good plan, Dom. Now, let me see if these motherfuckers spawn in a different spot, because I feel like that last one I got was in the same spot I got it last time. So, if the, if, if the fucking straight little metal piece is, like, right up here, somewhere pretty close, then I'll know they spawn in the same spot, but I haven't seen it yet, so maybe not. There's something right there. Oh, no, Bo, maybe it is. It might be! So I might have to do a little Rekona sounds and figure out where that eighth piece is at just so that I can make this shit a little easier on myself because if I know exactly where I'm going, that makes it considerably less dangerous. That's when you got to fucking loop de do this bitch around for 45 minutes before you even find a fucking item. That's when the shit gets fucking dangerous and reckless and scary and shit. Ooh, okay. Wait for him. Don't get caught slipping. Make sure he comes the right way now. If he comes up that middle, I'm pretty sure you're fucked. Okay. One more shit, y'all. One more shit, y'all. I have no idea where this one is, though. So I might just fucking run for my life until I can find it. So then at least that way, I know where it's at. What if it was, like, right here? Watch out for the fucking sticks, because apparently those alert bitch bitch, too. This fucking Ferris wheel really seems like the place that it would be. Given that this thing's been here since the beginning and I haven't found anything by it, but... Look at there's fuck all over here. Oh, that bitch cut, trying to cut me off and shit. There it is. It's a motherfucking propane tank, bitch. Uh-oh, now. Uh-oh, now. This motherfucker finna cut me off. He finna get crafty with his shit now. He finna get crafty! Watch the fuck out, y'all. Watch the fuck out, y'all. Move the fuck out of the way, Patrick. Dude, Patrick's big ass could not be more of a handicap, honestly. <gasps> Shut the fuck up, Patty. Okay, good. Again, it's pretty important also that he doesn't try and go up the middle. Because if he does, then you're going to get tossed. Okay, this door is wide open, which is either good or bad. I'm not sure yet. I've never seen it wide open like that. Usually, it's fucking closed. I think he moved the couch, bro. I actually need to do a couch test here. Make sure that he did. Okay, I don't think he did, actually. Can't fucking see. You know I love not being able to see Patrick when uh, when being able to see is the most important thing of all time! Patrick's stupid fucking ass, dude. Watch locked? Okay, that would have been the fucking bamboozle of the century. Fucking elbow. Fucking elbow! Okay, here we go. Let me put the shit up on the table. 
That's got to be a goddamn golly checkpoint for me, bro. Why does Patrick have the flamethrower? Why does Patrick have the flamethrower? Okay, can somebody actually explain to me why the fuck Patrick, the most useless motherfucker of all time, has the flamethrower? When I, if I had the flamethrower, would just burn this robot motherfucker to the ground? I would just obliterate this bitch. Now, you know there's got to be some kind of catch here, y'all. You know there's got to be some kind of catch here, y'all, because the fucking door is straight out in front of me. But there's no way it's this easy. Especially because it's not straight out in front of me anymore, apparently. Even though I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be. Where the fuck did it go? Am I stupid? Am I stupid? I lost the fucking door, yo. He might be camping this? I'm not sure. The shit's right here, though. I, no way this is a time thing. Are you fucking trolling? Okay, well, Patrick did it. Now this motherfucker burrowing. He's finna try me. He's finna try me. That's okay, though, because I got a mean juke game, bro. Because I got a mean juke game, bro. For the love of God! For the love of God! Get me out! Get me the fuck out! What? SpongeBob. <laughs> Final grade B. Pop the fuck off, Tommy! You high IQ motherfucker! The people! Oh! 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 You motherfuckers were praying on my downfall! You motherfuckers wanted me to be doing that shit for the rest of my goddamn life. Y'all the motherfuckers wanted me to die playing that game. Y'all were hoping for me to have high blood pressure. Y'all were hoping for me to have a fucking aneurysm. Y'all were hoping for me to have a goddamn heart attack. But none of that shit happened because I say to you, hi IQ gamers only, you motherfuckers fuck around the clock at Bikini Bottom. Eight, no, fuck it. Ten K likes if you want to see the ending of this shit. Ten K likes. Yeah, get fucked. I thought that eight K was impossible. I was wrong. <laughs> okay, now ten K likes. You come back to this video. Don't have ten K likes. Don't talk to me about this shit. Do not talk to me about this shit. Do not talk to me. Goodbye to around the clock forever. You motherfuckers ain't never hit that shit. Bye.